Here's a modification you may want to try on your Fox Body Mustang. In order to complete this modification, you will need a Dremel tool with the cutoff wheel. As you can see, I broke that one. A common screwdriver and a Phillips screwdriver. And I do believe it's a 10 millimeter socket for these bolts right here on the idle air control motor. I would like to say that I got this modification from T Moss website. That's T M O S S. What we have here is a 70 millimeter throttle body off a Ford Explorer with the V8 5 -0 motor. And what we have here is a stock throttle body. The Explorer throttle body is 70 millimeters. The stock Mustang throttle body is 60 millimeters. The Explorer throttle body will bolt right up with no problem. But in order for it to work, there's three modifications you must make. One, which is real simple, is swapping out this idle air control motor. The reason why we're swapping it out, the area in which the harness plugs into on the Mustang will not plug into this because it's different. So just unbolt it and swap it out with the Mustang idle air control motor. Let me get you a good picture on that and you'll see what I'm, what I'm talking about. This here is the Ford Explorer. And over here is the Mustang. They're totally different. And this one here will not plug into the wiring harness on the Mustang. The most difficult part is what we started with. In order to do this here, well, let me show you this. If you look closely at the two, if you notice right here, this is where the cable connects on the Mustang. And over here, this is where the cable connects on the Explorer. It won't work. The cable won't connect correctly and it won't work properly. So to fix this, you have to grind this piece off. This is part of the shaft that goes through the throttle body. You have to grind this piece completely off and then take your common screwdriver and gently pry up on it and it'll come off the shaft. I've done the Mustang over here and let me show you what I'm talking about. Well actually, to give you a good view, how about this? Take your tool and grind all the way around or cut it completely off and then it'll come right off the shaft. Over here is the Mustang which I've already done. As you can see, it's ground off, and once I pry it on it, it just popped right off the shaft. Okay. As a matter of fact, let me just go ahead and pull this off for you. And that's what it looks like. Swap them out. Take it by your muffler shop or high school where they do, where they teach welding or a community college where they teach welding or if you have a friend that know how to weld you know, take it somewhere like that and have them put a bead on it for you and it'll be just as good as it was before you ground it off okay the last modification has to do with the throttle positioning sensor so let me show you that okay this is the final modification you would have to make Okay, over here on the Ford Explorer throttle body, this is where the throttle positioning sensor mounts. Okay, it's identical to the Mustang. Okay, the difference is the blade that sticks out here is actually longer or taller, depending on how you're looking at it. So, the throttle positioning sensor itself 
will not plug into the harness, the wiring harness on the Mustang because they're totally different plugs on the end and there's no way to reconfigure it so that it would plug into the harness. Besides, the end of it is totally different and it just wouldn't work. Simple fix, take the throttle positioning sensor off the Mustang throttle body and put it over here. It'll bolt right up with no problem. Everything is clocked just the same. The only difference is the Mustang throttle positioning sensor is shallow. The hole is not as deep, but it's not bad. In order to make it work over here on the Explore throttle body, if you look in the center here, you will see it looks as if it has a nipple and then a raised area that the nipple is sitting on. You can take a file or a Dremel tool with a cutting blade on it or a grinder and just take your time and just grind a little bit. Grind it until it's flush or flat level and trial fit it until it doesn't you know, rub or bind up on the throttle positioning sensor. And once you get this area here fixed, that'll be the end of the modifications. This came with a Ford Explorer intake that I purchased for, I think it was 50 bucks. And I thought, hey, what can I do with it? I happened to find this uh, modification on T Moss's webpage and said, hey, okay, I'm going to try that modification. So, 70 millimeters versus 60. Both of these are factory, things are interchangeable. It came with my Explorer intake, so I pretty much just got it for free. Uh, if you come by one through the salvage yards or through a swap meet or whatever, it's good to have. Let me show you one more thing. This book here has a lot of information in it. And I think it's very, very valuable to a lot of us who still have the Fox by the Mustang. But what I wanted to show you was this here. throttle body flow rate comparison of course these are just approximations but as you can see on the left would be the throttle body diameters and then on the right would be what they should flow okay so I just want to give you that piece of information